Hello, friends. As the year draws to a close, Clark and I want to take a moment to express our thanks to each and every one of you. We have had so much fun sharing our stories with you this year, over 286 in total. It's just Clark and me, and we couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you for listening. And we hope you will continue to join us in the new year. From our family to yours, sleep tight. Hello, I'm Cheryl, and this is Sleep Tight Relax, a calming bedtime show for the young and young at heart. As the year draws to a close, Clark and I want to take a moment to express our thanks to each and every one of you. We have had so much fun sharing our stories with you this year, over 286 in total. It's just Clark and me, and we couldn't have done it without your support. Thank you for listening, and we hope you will continue to join us in the new year. From our family to yours, sleep tight. This is a story about a very proud pine tree who feels sorry for the willow tree who grows beside him. The pine feels he is strong and nothing can hurt him, and he wonders why the willow cannot be more like him. The willow tries to explain he is happy the way he is, but the pine tree does not understand until a storm comes. The Pine and the Willow In a beautiful large garden, Among many kinds of trees and shrubs, there stood a tall, fine pine tree, and near to him, and almost as tall, a graceful willow. One dark winter morning, the wind blew hard, and the clouds showed that a storm was coming soon. The pine felt lonesome as little children often do, and thought he would talk to the willow. So he said, Friend willow, your branches are trembling. I am sorry for you, for I know you are afraid of the storm that is coming. I wish you were like me. I am so strong, nothing can hurt me. The frost cannot change the color of my leaves, nor the wind blow them off. Occasionally, some old ones may fall on the ground, but there are always new ones to take their place. And I am the only tree in this large garden that is always fresh and bright. As for you, dear willow, your branches all hang down. You have no leaves now, And, as you are neither strong nor pretty, and shake in such a little wind, of what good are you to yourself, or to anyone else? Dear Pine, the willow answered, I do not tremble with fear, for I am not afraid. I have been made so that the wind would move my branches very easily and that I should not have leaves in the winter time. When the time comes, I shall have delicate green leaves and blossoms, and I am thankful for having a beautiful summer dress, even though I go bare in cold weather. It must be very beautiful to be strong and handsome as you are, and I am happy to have such a good friend. While they were talking, the wind had grown much stronger, 
and now the rain came pouring down. The pine stood up angrily against the wind, scolding with a hin, hin, hin while the willow bent and swayed to and fro, and all the other trees bowed their heads. Then the pine said, Willow, why do you not push this rude wind away instead of yielding to him? You are silly to let him push you around so, when you might resist him as I do. Then the willow answered, There are many ways to keep oneself from harm, and I do not like to resist anyone with force. The pine was angry at the willow and would say no more, but battled with the wind he could no longer hold back. Then his branches were torn and his top broken off. They fell to the ground, and the proud tree was a sad sight. But the willow bent her branches and yielded to the wind, and so was unhurt. The next morning, when the rain had stopped and the sun shone brightly, the owner of the garden came out to see how his trees had stood the storm. When he saw the broken pine, he thought it was too bad to have a broken tree in his fine garden. So he ordered the gardener to move the pine tree into the backyard. After a time, spring came, and the willow put forth his lovely green leaves, and everyone who passed looked at the graceful tree and said, How beautiful! How gentle it seems. The little birds built their nests in his branches, and soon baby birds came, which made the tree very happy. The butterflies danced around in the sunshine, and all summer, little children loved to play in the shade of the drooping willow. And when the pine peeped in from the backyard, and saw how happy and beautiful the willow was, and how the children, the birds, and the butterflies loved to play about him. He thought, If only I had been less proud of my own strength, then I might also be standing in that beautiful garden with my crown of leaves, and with young life, all about me. Good night. Sleep tight.